Remember, the Nahual can take many shapes. Trust nothing you see in the wilderness. I can't believe how much Etsley has grown in such a short time. He's going to... This must be the jungle entrance. Not very inviting, but I suspect that's the point. You go first. First? I'm not going in there at all. Did you see the guy they pulled out of there? What was left of him. Come on, just to the top of the path. If my father knew I was even this close to the wilderness, I wouldn't sit down for a week. Too quiet. I feel like something's out there. Strange. This kill hasn't been eaten. It's been left out for any animal to take, but none have dared. <sighs> this figure must be the Nowell. The mythological beast stalking the outskirts of Paititi. This looks like a sacrificial altar. If it's anywhere, I'll bet the champion's bow is in there.
All right, let's get this bow back to Uchu. Impossible. I can't carry any more. How are you? What do you need? You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. I am certain you will find it useful. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. Thank you, friend. Hi there. See anything that you like? Very good. The gods favor us both. Very good. Come back soon.
The champion's bow. The final piece to herald in the future of Paititi. And what of the Nakwa? Did you face it? I did. It's dead. Tell me, what shape did it take? It was a jaguar. Ah, the most powerful of its forms. It must have seen you as a formidable foe. Uchu, how long has this Nawal been in the jungle? As children, there were always stories to keep us from straying beyond the bounds of Paititi. But since Amaru took power, the Nahual has been more active. You believe Amaru commands the Nahual? Yes, to keep his hands on our throats, but no longer. You have done a great thing for the future of Paititi, Lara. I would be honored if you would join us for the ceremony of kings. The honor would be mine. Here, I have something for you. This is from the armor Etsli's father, Sairi, wore. It is a symbol of your bravery. I would like you to have it. Thank you, Uchu. The sound of the king's horn has called you all to bear witness to a new beginning. Welcome to the ceremony of kings. Etsli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, step forth. Within the Savior's amulet is the wisdom of your ancestors. Listen to it so that you will enjoy equity and mercy in all judgments. Within the champion's bow is the strength of your ancestors. Respect it so that you will enjoy responsibility and fairness in leadership. Finally, within you, young Etsli, is the future. Infuse your role as king with action. Create hope. Create love. Not by passively waiting for grace to come down from up on high, but by doing what you can to make grace happen yourself. People of Paititi, it is with great pride that I introduce to you Etsli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, and your king!
find someone to replace you. Oh, what? Those sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? <sighs> I blew up my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise, he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. I don't think I can do it, Vancho. Go on, it's easy. Just grab it and stop it. Oh, yeah. Vaya más despacio. This is a dedication to Supe, god of death and ruler of Uku Pasha, the Incan underworld. It entreats him to come forth with his legions of demons and to converge on this site where the local people will do him honor with written poems extolling his greatness or offerings of food and drink. By paying him the respect he deserves in this way, the local people pray he will only take those he must and not harm any others of their community unnecessarily. What is that? Uh, oh my uh, god. Please, help me. Are you okay? You're coming after me? Are you Pablo? Jess. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. Doesn't sound good. Get back to work. I'm sorry, I don't know what else you want from me. I can't motivate people to slave labor. Oh, I think there's a way you can motivate them. Shit. What the hell got into him? He used to bring us ten people a week. You ask me, it's that brother of his. Always unionization this and justice that. Wow, wow, wow. Fucking snowflake. Are the fines here even worth it? They are on the black market. True. Almost 100% markup. Whatever we get for them. 
I don't have enough space for that. your guns anymore back to work or he dies we refuse to let you threaten us you think he's bluffing you're just a lousy bunch of thieves i mean it i'll kill him you finally pushed us too far back off release him or else <laughs> that's it no more fucking around <laughs> the commander's gonna kill us when oh but no all right. Need to get back to the village. All full up. Can't carry any more. Gather your things, I go back to the village. Bless you. Thank you. This knife is a cheap plastic replica of those traditionally used to sacrifice llamas in the Inti Raimi or Sun God Festival. It was also occasionally used to perform trepanning surgery. The Inca believed that cutting a hole in the skull could relieve pressure to cure some diseases.
Did you see him? Pablo? Yeah, he was running toward Abby's. Good, I hope he's okay. Bien, entonces. Ya. Señorita, sí, hoy vaya más despacio. Tres coches. Y si gano yo, papá, tú me I know it sounds silly. Si me preguntas, Pablo told me what you did. I, I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago, when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again.
<laughs> there's no mistaking that bright golden disc. Inti, the most important god of the Inca. He was the god of the sun, protector of the people, and the provider of warmth and light. Some legends also credit him with teaching humans the ways of civilization, and the Incan emperors were either considered his lineal descendants or physical incarnations of Inti on Earth, depending on which emperor you asked. Thank <laughs> you.